It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money But boy, if I did I'd buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor, <laughs> but then again, no, or a man who makes potions in a traveling show, I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. Tell everybody This is your song It may be quite simple But now that it's done I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind That I put down in the words How wonderful life is While you're in the world The moss, well, a few of the verses, well, they've got me quite cross. But the sun's been quite kind while I wrote this song. It's for people like you that keep it turned on. So, excuse me for getting. These things I do You see I've forgotten If they're green Or they're blue Anyway The thing is What I really mean Yours are the sweetest guys I've ever seen And you can tell it Everybody, this is the song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in the words how wonderful life is while you're in. You don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in the world How wonderful life is while you're in the All of my life. 
know I made my share of big mistakes But girl, I promise you We can make this work out, baby Found each other, and here we are. I always knew that you were out there, just waiting on me for me to find my way, find my way to your home. Oh, yeah. We can make this work out, baby. Heather, here's Julie, pregnant, eating food. This is a great view. And <laughs> without her shoes. <laughs> That's how we started off the tape. Awesome. Hello, guys. Heather, you will be eating snacks without <laughs> shoes sometime soon. I Here, hope, maybe I two hope years. so. Maybe I hope three. so. Who knows? But sometime soon. I, I need. I need a I'm grandma. Hi, grandma. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? Casey, you got any fine words for the, the bride and groom? Um, you know, I've I've never I've never been very uh, eloquent in my wording, especially right in front of the camera. All right, all right. All right. I've heard Casey say though to other newly marrieds, <laughs> where the three words "I love you" are important, but. I was wrong are very important. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry I was wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry I was wrong are four words that are very important for Jake to learn. All right. Heather won't need them. They have a list of like short teddy grounds inside of the house. <laughs> this is the good thing about having a baby, you always have snacks. Where is the little one? Dusty. Dad took her at time out. Who did? Her dad. Talking about uh, how Jake made a good decision for once in his life. I think so. I think he did. Yeah. Oh, that's I love you, Jake, and I will love you in the future, Heather, because I don't know you yet. Carry on. <laughs> is this for Jake? Yeah, it's for me. No, is this for no. Eternity, buddy. Eternity. Yeah, so, get, get, your, get your fix on. Get your close up. Have fun in Hawaii. My good side. Love you. Before. Sam, why don't you say something to the camera? Sam's turn. Okay, this is Sam Harmon, brother of Jake Harmon, brother in law of Heather Harmon, here to speak to you guys today. Sam, what do you have to say to the couple? Congratulations. <laughs> 
congratulations. I don't have, I don't have a lot of advice. I've been married for a week. So. Yeah, you got it down though. You're a veteran. <laughs> veteran. <laughs> this is Wade Harmon, father of Jake Harmon, father-in-law of Heather Harmon. Well, Go. I've got some things to say, but I'm gonna say it later tonight. But uh, <laughs> just kind of be happy. Yeah. Are you giving a speech at the uh, wedding dinner tonight? Great. I look forward to it. I will be in attendance at the wedding dinner tonight. Would you like to say anything else to the camera, Clinton? No. Hey, camera show. Cole, how you feeling? Hey, I'm feeling great. Would you Can like me? to say anything to the new couple? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Since get you've out been married right now, because it's freaking hot. <laughs> Since you've been married for a year and a half, maybe you have some good marital I've got, advice. I've got for some them. good advice. <laughs> <laughs> what but, is it? But that's, that's my not advice my to anybody that sees this is when you go to the temple to see somebody get married, uh, shave your face so you don't look homeless. There's <laughs> three other words. And Gibby is signing out for now. I will be back later. I love you. Say some words. We're so excited for Jake and Heather. Yes, we are. And it's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> the cameraman is hot. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Even though we're family, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide.
that can carry two and both shall roll my love and I there is a ship and she sails the sea she's loaded deep as deep can be Not so deep as the love I miss. I know not how I sink or swim. Oh, love is handsome and love is fine. Sweetest flower when first it's new, but love grows old and waxes cold and fades away like summer dew. Brad, you're a man of many words. What's your advice to the marrieds? I can think of nothing to say. That's uh, unlike you. <laughs> Can you say hi to the camera? Say hi, Matt! Hi, Uncle Matt! I wish you were my... <laughs> we I take have. you as my Aww. niece anytime. Congratulations! You guys were giving me crusties during the ceiling. How do you feel about that? You feel good about that in the temple? I just look bad on camera, though. <laughs> I just love being in front of the camera. I can tell. <laughs> you look good though. You look good. <laughs> Uncle Steve. Ooh, side view. Side view. That's my best. <laughs> I don't really even care if there's people. Alan, Tammy. <laughs> she is. Hey. Hey. You got anything to say? No, I just, uh, it's just a joyful occasion. It's very beautiful. It's a nice, beautiful day, and it was a nice, beautiful uh, wedding in the temple there. And they're very, very black, very nice, and they're a great couple, just really comfortable with everything. Perfect. Oh, poor Matt. Okay, Matt, I said stuff with the camera. Whoa, let's get a little further back. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Just kidding. Now you look very nice. Let's show you. Who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? <laughs> That's that is awesome. Yeah. The husband. Hey you. Why is he? <gasps> Matt, who are you wearing? Alfani. I love it. Yeah. So, are you gonna move in with Heather and Jake? I want to. <laughs> Clint and I made a lunch bet to see who get the most pictures, and Clint thinks he's part of the family. Now. This is Heather's family, <laughs> and there's Waldo. <laughs> Waldo, where's Waldo? <laughs> 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 
that guy? <laughs> well, who's that guy? We've got a lunch bed on so you can right, get the most go. pictures. <laughs> 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 okay, everybody just put it You're still down five. Thanks very much. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. That's great. Say, let's have some food. Woo! Yeah. Yes, take one more. Artillery. Got it. Nice job. Okay, now, everybody associate. That's it. One, two. Very good, you guys. Lots of small. You know what, Jake? You gotta compete with Dad for romance. He's doing all right. Did you say grab him with both hands? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Good job. Hey, hey. How are ya? Hey. I did say you're not talking to me. You said you weren't gonna shave. You well. Okay, like, I figured I'd look good for his wedding, so. You're looking good. He, he, he cleaned up for mine, so. Hey, congratulations. You did it. We love you.
Right here. One, two, three. Let's do Symphony 
But I lost the melody Alas, I only finish And finish I suppose I never may Anyway, I love you That's all I have to tell you All I've got to say Now I know the way That's all I've got to say Now I know the way That's all I've got to
already been through this today. This is Kate. That's Sam. Hey, Sam. I'm the guy behind the camera, so. The guy behind the camera. Uh, <laughs> What's up, man? Are you going to be doing this all night? I'm going to be doing it all night. He did it at mine, so. Did he really? I got to do it at his. That's right, you beat him. By 12 days, man. You're going to have a camera stuck in your face all night. I hope so. I love the camera. Phil, I'm right here, man. Hey, man. It's good to be here. This is a great gig. And all the best wishes to our bride and groom today. It's been a great day, and there's not a better way to finish this up than a good old meal and reception. Sarah, then we'll hear from the mothers, uh, Denise and Susie, 
and then uh, I'll say something and Wade will uh, say something and then we'll show a video that Wade will introduce and which Wade produced. <laughs> and uh, so we're really looking forward to this. Then we'll have a chance to hear from Heather and James. So, thank you. Let's see. I gotta go to I'd rather hold this. Um, I'm Matt. Right here. Back. I'm Heather's brother. Um, they asked us a few nights ago to say something nice about your sibling. Um, Heather is. Uh, she's probably what we've been best friends. We've been sister. Um, she's my sister. Uh, yeah, sisters for life. Um, no, but she's been my best friend. She really has. Um, she's been the type of person that I come to, talk to late at night. Um, all my girl problems, I go straight to her first before anyone else, and she does the same. So I've heard a lot of stories about Jake. Um, but one of my uh, one of my first memories of Heather, it was a long time ago. My mom didn't want me to tell this because she says it makes her look bad. But uh, my mom would always say if we kind of goof off and do things she didn't want us to do, she'd say, um, shape up or ship out. And I remember this one time Heather decided to ship out, where she uh, actually packed a bag and she went and sat on the curb with her head sunk low and waiting for a ride to come pick her up. Um, but obviously she came back, so I'm, I'm glad she, she didn't decide to ship out all the way. Um, she decided to shape up. but. Um, she really is my best friend, and I really do love her. And, you know, Jake, he's the man. I'm, I'm glad to have him a part of uh, the family now. Uh, he's, he's great. I've been hearing about him. I've been home for a month, or almost a year, and when I was six months out, I started hearing about Jake. So this has been a, been a long time going. But uh, I mean, the second I saw him, you know, things just clicked. I've been able to get along with him, and you know, he's become one of, one of my best friends as well. And I'm happy for you guys. Have fun in Hawaii. Enjoy the sun a little bit. And congratulations. I feel like Rich just barely up here. <clears throat> so I'll be very brief because half of you uh, already heard me last week. So No, but we, uh, my family is very grateful for Heather. Um, my dad constantly reminds Heather that she's an answer to just about everybody's in this room's prayers. <laughs> so we, uh, we're actually we're, we're really, really, really happy for this, uh, for this wedding. We've been waiting for this wedding for a number of years now. And we were always hoping that it was going to happen, and I'm sure the backs have felt the same way, and we're just wondering when it was going to move. But we, we really are excited for you, too. Um, it was just unfortunate. You know, we always had a joke in my family that I was going to be Jake getting married, and it did happen, and then we started saying the joke that uh, my little brother Ben, who still has a year and a half left on his mission, was going to beat him get married. And unfortunately, that one didn't come true. But we uh, we really are grateful for uh, for Heather and the family. We're very excited for the two of you. Uh, you guys make a great couple, and we are we're very excited. And congratulations. Okay, first of all, I just want to tell Heather and Jake how much I love them. <laughs> and I didn't want to get up here and just cry, but I knew that I probably would. <laughs> but um, when I was thinking just of all the memories I have with Heather, oh, like I started crying yesterday in the shower when I was just thinking about like sharing a room with her, and she's been really my best friend for forever. We shared a room like from the time we were just little, and Jake, you're really lucky because you're going to be able to share him with her, and that probably sounds bad, but <laughs> it's just fun because she'll talk to you all night, it'll be great, <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> it's not really good stuff. but um, yeah, I just love Heather, and I love Jake, and I love them together, um, it's been pretty fun to just be a part of the whole thing. I know I was talking to Clint, one of Jake's best friends in the temple today, he goes, can you believe it? It finally happened. <laughs> and I think a lot of us were just 
hoping and praying it would happen. And I actually always thought it would, but I didn't know when in the world it would happen. So I'm really grateful that it's it's here and they're married. And I just love Jake when Matt was saying that he felt like he was best friends with Heather and Jake. So do I. So welcome to the family. We love you. And it's been so fun to get to know the Harmon family. And it's been honestly, um, I don't know. I don't know if I should say relief, but it's just been neat to get to know them and know that Heather's going to be part of such a great family. I'm sorry, Jake, you're going to have to put up with us, but we love you guys. Thanks. Okay, so Jake, again, you've always been um, my best friend. And because of that, I have to watch out for you. And since you weren't doing a very good job of finding me a sister-in-law, I had to take matters into my own hands. So I'm so glad Heather finally decided to be a part of our family. Um, mo many of you know Jake. And um, if you know him well, you know that he doesn't like to spend money. And he doesn't like people to spend money on him. So as we were growing up, a tradition in our family is to go um, out to dinner for a celebration of either birthdays or graduation or anything special in your life. But Jake, um, being the type of person that he is that doesn't want people to spend money on him, he would go home from, say, his high school graduation and have macaroni and cheese, and we would go out and celebrate with our family for Jake's graduation. So Heather, tonight, I brought a box of macaroni and cheese, a big box, and so anytime you have something special, you can just make the macaroni and cheese and he'll be just as happy. So, welcome to the family. I'm so happy to have you as my sister and I love you both. You didn't say shape up and shift out very often. So. Just when they didn't make their beds. But anyway, um, this is such a great day and I'm so grateful for Heather and for Jake and for their good examples to our family and for the way that they have lived their lives. I'm grateful that they could go to the temple today and be so for eternity. That was such a blessing to me as a mom. You know, um, days like these kind of help make you think about all the precious times in life that you think about all the really special times. And I remember the day, one of those times was the day that Heather was born and she was just so sweet and cute and beautiful and we just we're so grateful to have her in our family and today she's sweet and she's beautiful but she's a little bit bigger and we are so grateful that she is where she's at and that i'm grateful that heavenly father let me be her mom <laughs> because it's been choice to be her mom and i love her and i'm grateful that jake is to be her husband because they're two great people, and two great people are just going to make each other greater. So anyway, we love you. We're so grateful for all of you being here. Thank you so much, and thank you for your good examples to all of us, to our families. We love the Harmons. We are so grateful for them, and just feel like that our prayers were answered, too. From the time you have these little babies, and those of you that have babies know that the minute you get them placed in your arm, you start praying for them. And you just want them to have every good thing in life happen, and you pray that they'll find worthy, good young men that they can love and cherish and be eternally together. And so our prayers have been answered, too. So anyway, thank you so much, and love you guys, and thank you for coming. I read a poem um, a couple weeks ago for Sam, written by my favorite poet. Well, I've got one today by my favorite poet, Wayne, and this is about Jake. What do I say, and in what unique way, about a son you love so dear? There's been some strife, but he's given you life. His leaving is your genuine fear. No longer just a lad, but still calls you dad. A title you're proud to hold. From newborn eyes to a man's disguise, I've witnessed his heart of gold. Each morning's dawn to sunset's dawn, my heart, my beating heart delights. There's another day for the sun's rays to watch his smile ignite. And if in the wake of his painful quake your spirit is lifted high, there's something about his gloomy fallout that hedges to comply. 
Temperamental a bit, but not a misfit, a trusted friend indeed, because you see, humanity is the key by which he lives his creed. When it's all said and done, my heart he has won, a prototype for the rest. If my two younger boys were to follow his decoys, you can't get better than best. So what do you say about a boy whose forte is having a gusto for life? To be part of his dreams and observer of his schemes, he's, his leading will cut like a knife. I love this lad, he's been my comrade for nigh on 20 years. We frolicked and played, I'll aid his crusades. He's leaving is my only fear. Jake, it's a delight to be your mother. I love you. And Heather, I'm thrilled. I love you just as well. And we're so happy to have you as part of our family. Well, when Jake showed up at our house, um, Sarah uh, brought Jake over. And she knew Heather well. She knew Jake well. Uh, Sarah, stand up one more time. We owe it all to Sarah. Sarah, just so you know, became, uh, she married Jeremy, who was from our ward. It was one of our favorites in life. And, uh, and Sarah came, and uh, we got acquainted with her, and she soon became one of our favorites. So, Jake, you came with instant credibility. If you didn't have Sarah as a sister, you would have had no chance. But uh, I think you would have just been... Uh, Anyway, <laughs> you made it, Jake. That's good. Heather had plenty of opera. By the way, the Harmons, that's not the only one. We had other Harmons come and pick off boys from our ward uh, over at that table. They would, the Harmon girls would pick the best guys from our ward, come down and marry them. And there's some weird connection going there, but uh, we, we love them all. They're all wonderful people and, uh, and, and just thrilled to be part of that clan. Um, Heather dated guys like crazy. I mean, she went through guys in the dating scene. In fact, how many people have dated Heather here? Would you please raise your hand? That's what I figured. So, uh, but somehow, she, she could never settle down or decide. I really didn't think she would ever settle down and get married just at the rate she was going. Even, I've got to tell you this, even she was dating Jake for a how long before the first kiss? 13 months? They were friends. Uh, Heather they were dating friends. They were just friends. Yeah, Heather would say they really weren't dating. Jake would say they're dating. But uh, anyway, I don't know how it works. But Jake hung in there. And can you imagine who, who wrote that song, uh, worked so hard for that first kiss? No one worked harder than Jake for that first kiss. <laughs> With the guys that Heather dated, and I would meet them, and sometimes she'd get irritated that I wouldn't get excited, and I'd think, get excited about what? I mean, you bring them here, and then they're gone, and I'm not going to get excited about anybody. And sometimes she would get irritated with me about that. But with Jake, we just fell in love with Jake. Jake is the real deal. Jake is the quality that a parent can be proud of. You know, I haven't cried to this point. In fact, if you want to see me cry like a baby, if she would have married some of the others. Not, not with you in the room. But, <laughs> but if you're worried about who your daughter's marrying, I'd be like a baby. I could, I'd be crying all night and wondering what was going on. But with Jake, we feel very good. He is honestly the kind of person, the Harmons and that side of the family, you know what he is. And we've discovered it. We know it. And we are just so grateful and look forward to having, having you in our family, Jake. Jake, you get a wonderful woman. You get, you get someone, uh, Heather, who is probably the best cuddler in the whole world. She, she loved to just cuddle. She would come and just want to give sweet little hugs and cuddles. And she can be the most loving, compassionate person in the world. She has a little fire to her that adds a spice to life. But you know what? Jake handles her perfectly. You know, she has to handle Heather when she's when she lights that little fire. And it's it's fun to it's fun to watch them work together. Uh, you make a, a great couple. And by the way, I told the Harmons this: if Heather decided not to marry Jake, we would have adopted him, and he could have just been a brother. I don't know whether he would have liked that. But, uh, we're we're glad that he's going to be our son-in-law. 
we love both of you and, and Heather. I love you more than you can imagine. You're you're really um, with the other kids. Really a, a light in my life, and and just a reason for for enjoying life. And we love you. You're fortunately you're not going to be far away. And I know I look at it sincerely as we're finally getting another guy in the family, which is nice to balance out the hormones sometimes. So, Matthew, we've, we've been looking forward to this day and looking forward to the next one. But, but uh, we love you. We're proud of you. And uh, we wish you the best. We know you're just going to do really well. Thank you very much. Well, I want to echo being part of the back family. That's, we, we have really appreciated getting to know the backs. And in fact, I think Doug and I talked about going bowling after this if anyone wants to join us. <laughs> Gosh, for 27 years, I have been the father of Jake. And that has been, that has been a highlight of my life. And I am so grateful to have a son like Jake. Um, Jake is a unique person. I, when I think about all the stories of Jake, I mean, if anyone that knows Jake in here, and many of you do, just by raising your hand, who has a Jake story? I, I think everybody can come up with a Jake story. I've got, I've got a lot of them. Sarah talked about how frugal he is, and, and I can attest to that. I mean, uh, I remember when he went to Hawaii with his buds in the back, a senior trip, and he took $100 with him and brought back 40 after a week. <laughs> I, I, I remember when we went to, to Disney World and we went to a place called Gatorland. He was 14 years old and he saw the price of the ticket and he said, Dad, I'm not going in there. I said, Jake, I'm buying the ticket. You're not doing it. He said, no, I'm not going in there. You're not buying one for me. So anyway, I bought, bought one for the rest of the family and he sat out, out on the front there while we went into Gatorland. He went, he went go. Um, I can also tell you that Jake's a pretty pretty strong kid. If you go up there, he's, he's kept his... He's, he's pretty physically fit, but it hasn't always been that way. Um, I think when the time he was, I think it was about 16 or 17, Susie's mother, who's passed away a few, uh, about three years ago, uh, she's about 5'2", about 90 pounds, and they had an arm wrestle and she won him. But, um, but and then she would, she would refuse to arm wrestle him again because she, she wanted that, uh, 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 title of be beating Jake in an arm wrestle. Well, Jake's buffed up since then, as you can see. Um, three years ago, and, and I, I don't want to make light of this, but I almost have to in a way. And Susie's mother, she passed away, and, and about, uh, for about 24 hours, she was in a coma. And um, we were all gathered around the hospital, and, and I noticed Jake, he went over there and sat by her. We all could say our goodbyes to her. And it was a really, really pretty neat moment for us all as a family. But Jake calmly, uh, calmly took her hand and we lifted it up, and everyone was kind of looking and <laughs> arm wrestled her. And so he's, before she left this, left this world, he had, he had won her an arm wrestle, even though she was in a coma. <laughs> so he got the best of her. But Jake is, um, Jake is, a, 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 I think he also has like nine lives. He's had very, he's had some severe accidents uh, when he was younger. And I think he has at least four or f four lives left. So make sure you keep track of him, Heather, because he's, he's, he's counting down on him. He had a terrible accident with, um, on the trampoline one year where, um, oh, it was terrible. And I, I actually have a uh, picture of it in, in a little slideshow in there I'll tell you about. And also, he survived an accident with Gibby. They were, walking, they were driving down the street, and, and Jake was showing him his toe as he was driving. And Gibby said, oh, that's pretty cool, and drove, drove right into a car going 40 miles an hour. And when I, and I rolled down the street um, about five minutes after the accident happened, just going down there, I said, hey, I think that's Gibby's car. And I looked at that mangled car, and I saw where the heads had gone through the windshield, and I'm thinking, oh, my heck, what has happened? So I turned around, and one of my friends was at the car, and I, I said, Lou, what, where's the boys that were in this car? And he would not tell me. And, um, I, and then I asked the officer where they'd take him. They took him to the hospital. So I ran down there, and um, um, they were both on gurneys in, in the emergency room. And, and a couple hours later, they both walked out. It was pretty lucky. 
my friend came over and asked, saw, uh, talked to me that night, and I said, how come you didn't tell me where they were? He says, well, because I, I didn't want to be the one to tell you that they, they had passed away. He thought that they were dead, and he, when he came to see Jake, he couldn't believe it. So anyway, he's got nine, nine lives, and he's had expired a few of them. <laughs> um, but most importantly about Jake is that he is, he has, I'm just so happy for him because he, he's got what he has been looking for for 27 years. And, and he's been, he's kept himself worthy for, for this young woman. And I've, we've seen a big change in him and, and um, he is just ready to have lived life to his very fullest. He is, he's been good at that in the past, but the, the, it's just a new, a new uh, chapter in his life now that it's just going to um, be an awakening to his soul as he married the sweetheart that he's, he's prepared for and he's waited for her and we are so grateful for her and, and I, don't, I don't want to get too preachy up here but Heavenly Father answers prayers and this is, this is the biggest one that he's answered in our family and we're grateful for that. Um, I love you Jake and I'm proud to be your father. So forgive me if I don't make any sense. But um, I just first want to start by thanking everybody for being here. Everybody who's sitting in this room really does mean a lot to both me and Jake and, and have impacted our life in, in a positive way. And I'm so happy that I, I, I'm able to spend this day and this evening with, with people who, who I love so much and who have who have blessed my life the way that you all have. And, and I want those of you who are here for Jake, I feel like I've been around the Harmon family enough to to know that, I mean, I feel that you guys have all been a good influence on me, but I want you all to know that that because you have impacted and the positive impact that you've had on Jake, it's a positive impact for me because he's who I get to be with for the rest of eternity. And I want to thank every one of you for helping mold him into the person who he is today and I just feel so lucky to be being married <laughs> married <laughs> to such a um, wonderful man and I, I'm so excited to start my life with him. Um, those of you who know know me the very best know that I I don't always deal with change very well. <laughs> and as I started thinking about the different changes that that would happen after I get married I I, I thought it would kind of freak me out, or I mean, I'd get kind of worried, maybe sentimental about things, but I, I started thinking about all the different times of life that I've experienced. You know, I even thought back to, to elementary school, and then to junior high, and, and high school. You know, every, every stage of life has just gotten better and better, and, and I remember being in high school thinking, wow, life doesn't get better than this. You meet lifelong friends, and many Many of you are here tonight, and um, and I just, I loved it. And then I went to college, and I was like, oh, wow. Every time, every stage just gets just gets better. And then and then I graduated, and that was kind of a hard adjustment for me <laughs> at first. But then I realized that it was pretty cool, you know, making money and not having much responsibility besides work. And, and, and I loved that time of life, and I'm grateful that I've had that, that time of life. But... Um, I, then I started thinking about the different stages that me and Jake have had in our relationship and that we were able to be friends for, for a year before we started dating. <laughs> <laughs> I still hold to that. I know that he does. Nobody believes me, but we were friends. Good friends, best friends. And I'm so, I'm so happy that we had that time. And then we started dating and I, I realized that that was even better than being friends with Jake. And then we got engaged and I realized this is even better than dating. And now I know that when we get, I mean, well, we are married. <laughs> now that we're married, it's just going to keep getting better. And I'm so excited to, to experience the different times of life. I know that there will be times that are better than others, but I know that life is just going to keep on getting better and, and better. And I want Jake to know how much I love him and how excited I am to start my life with him. And I just feel so lucky to to be married to Jake and, and he has so many wonderful qualities that I just admire and that I know I can learn a lot from. And, and I want to thank my parents and Jake's parents for this beautiful evening and this day has just been perfect. It's been more than I ever could have asked for and, and I've just loved every second of it and I'm so glad that 
I've been able to spend it with the people who mean the most to me. And um, thanks for coming, and I love you, and I love my family so much, and I'm so thankful for all that they've done for me. And I'm, I'm really thankful to be marrying into such a great family. I, I, it's, I just don't have any words to explain how how grateful I am for that. I, I know that it's a big deal, and I want to thank Susie and Mike for raising Jake. I'm, I just love them so much, and I want them to know that. <laughs> Anyways, let me just throw my name a little bit. My grandma beat me when I was eight. It was like 16. <laughs> and anyone can buy me food or take me anywhere if they're going to pay for it now. Daryl. Daryl bought us lunch because he said, I'll buy you lunch if you guys get married. So I took him up on it. So <laughs> if anyone wants to spend money, you're fine too now. <laughs> anyway, I also want to just thank everyone that's come. There has been some people that have um, flown in to come see our wedding. Heather had a friend, Becca, from... Thanks, Becca. I love you. <laughs> from Las Vegas. She had friends from Italy, even though they're probably here for other reasons, but they have been here at the same time. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I am, I'm so grateful for our families. Um, I think both of us have um, great families, not just immediate, but extended as well. And, you know, I feel really blessed to, um, you know, be a part of, you know, the back family as well, um, as, long, as well as mine. And also, um, they've been so good to me for like the last two and a half years. They've taken me on trips, they've taken me, you know, on vacations, Lake Powell. Um, San Diego, just a whole bunch of different places. They've, they've spent a lot of money on me too. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> but I really appreciate them. Um, I also appreciate my family. They've been so great to me. Um, I've loved growing up with them and um, that goes for, for everyone. So thank you guys. Um, also just how my sister did line me and Heather up. She gave me Heather's number for Christmas one time. She came in and threw it, so here's your Christmas present. <laughs> and we went out. Um, the first day I really liked her and I was like, okay, I'm ready to date her. And I was kind of excited. Um, but I called her and then she didn't get a call back for about four days. It, it happened every time I called her, so we hung out a couple times the first few months. Um, but I've always felt really good about just staying in there. I've always felt good about, um, you know, about Heather and um, I always thought something would happen about it, so, you know, that's why I stuck in there. And, um, I'm grateful she finally came along. <laughs> but, also, I mean, a lot of people thought I wasn't going to get married for a while. My grandpa I was going on a cruise, and he, he's asking if it was a gay cruise that I was going on. <laughs> it was me so long, but... <laughs> I finally got married, so I'm grateful for that. And, um, you know, I couldn't have I couldn't have married a better girl. Um, you know, I think first time I met Heather, I, I remember just driving home. I'm like, you know, I need to be a better person if I want someone like that. And you know, as I you know, as I started working on being a better person, and um, obviously it took me a while to do that. <laughs> but you know, I finally got it. She makes me a better person. I just want everyone to know that I love you so much. It's been a great day. And, um, you know, thank, thank you everyone for coming. We really appreciate you. And we love you all. And also, there's going to be some dancing, I think. Is the band still here? Yep. Oh, yeah. There's going to be some dancing, and that's Heather's wish that everyone will dance at her wedding. That's, that's going to decide if it's a good night for her or not. So, everyone just dance. Anyways, thank you all.
Your 